And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Transport Fever. And it's time to upgrade these lines. Look at all the people at both of these areas. A lot of people. A lot of people to move. So I think this northwest is old. It's it's 37 years old. It's it's pretty... It's ready. Uh, so let's look at the replacement. This is a cyan color. So let's set up that... Come on. There we go. Uh, and we're going to use the new NSB. Uh, we don't have the flirts unlocked. And we're going to use these Bombardier. The 137 mile per hour uh, runs because they hold a lot of people. And they uh, go fast enough. These other double deckers do not go very fast. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to do eight of these babies. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think, th I think that's going to be good. Eight of them, 33 a pop. You know, that's, uh, that's math that I can't do in my head. So, uh, yeah, we're, that's going to be, that's going to be good. Uh, okay, so that's 25%. Now, this one is doing pretty good. 200 there. Two, roughly equal there. And northeast. Oh, yeah, this one definitely can upgrade as well. So, we're going to do a green model of that same train uh, one two three four five six seven eight and we're gonna do I'm gonna wait till this one hits the or gets past the middle point because that way when it upgrades at the end point it'll be completely empty uh, and that is just how I it's just how I roll with that because it won't completely empty here which leaves a lot of money on the table so that was what, about 75, 75 people coming straight through to the hub. Uh, and now that it's ready to go, uh, we can set this one up also to 25%. Because uh, this one's old enough now, 28 years old. Doesn't seem like that long ago that we set these lines up. But this one here, not even close to full. Uh, and it's slow, so that's probably a huge factor. You know, speed is a big factor, but I think it, the the line frequency is actually uh, less than the main line. But it, the cities are not as big yet. So we want to see northwest and northeast commuters. These are going to change. So the one is 12 minutes. Northeast is 12 minutes. Northwest is 11 minutes. Let's see what happens uh, on northwest, which is 11 minutes with this new train. After it empties, of course. Okay, let's speed that up. Oh, we're still at 11 minutes. That's weird. That should go down. That train is... That train is can go much faster than these other ones. So, yeah, it didn't feel completely up just because of how, how the system works. Uh, you know, there's so many, so many passengers waiting, uh, and I think that it, it takes one trip for it to update itself. Uh, all right, so northeast, so northwest is done. Let's set that to 100% and no. And now northeast is down in the hub. So this should empty out and upgrade as well and scoop up hopefully the majority of people uh, and this lineup line frequency didn't change either I thought for sure the line frequency would change and this one filled completely up so that's good so let's do 100% no and now we are able to move quite a lot of people so this one's filled up completely and it should with this engine, it should be able to hit its max speed pretty efficiently. It's going to hit that 137 relatively quickly. Still, it takes it takes a bit of time, which is surprising considering how much horsepower I have that engine at. So now these trains are going to be pretty substantially uh, more profitable. Yeah, it's almost seven million for that trip on Northwest. So that is that is a pretty 
that is a pretty decent profit margin on those trains paying full price for those bi-level engines or bi-level carriages so now let's look at the south lines um, these we can upgrade I believe they are old enough let's go look at that one and this one uh, how old are you 25 how old are you 32 so yeah they are ready to upgrade <coughs> So the southwest is a bright green. Uh, that's going to look really kind of weird, but we're going to run with it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're not going to set that quite yet. I want it to go through the midpoint, but this is going to an endpoint. So we can set the other one, the south, uh, south uh, east. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, of course, I have a hitch right when I'm doing that. Stop hitching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and we're going to do 25% yes on that one. This one should stop, drop off its people, and head to the hub. And then I can set this one to upgrade as well. So now that it's off and running, I can set, set that one. So this one now is able to pick up a ton of people and is much more efficient at moving people much faster holds a lot of people plenty of room for profit now that these cities have actually grown to be big enough uh we can actually you know squeeze a little bit more profit out of them since they've grown so i'm anxious to see this blue one the the bright green one will be a little bit ugly but uh the blue one should be pretty nice. Uh, let it completely drain out of people. And there we go. So no and 100%. And see, yeah, it only picks up 188, but uh, that's just because reasons. So here is this line. This is a nice blue, nice blue on that. I'm not familiar with this engine. Are those solar panels on the side? They look like solar panels, but uh, I don't know. Somebody familiar with that engine uh, in whatever part of the world those are in. Uh, it'll be interesting to know if those are actually solar panels. Uh, okay, so the green one is done. So let's do 100% no on that and go peek at this one. Very, very loud green. You'd see that one coming. But yeah, it's cruising, cruising to its destination. Uh, both of these now able to move a lot of people. Uh, so that is something we really like. Hopefully, as they drain out the backlog of people, they'll also, you know, clear up some of this mess and, you know, help grow the city even more. So that way, when the flirt comes around, the flirt holds what? 400 and I don't know 450 people or something like that uh, and then the second generation flirt which is a pretty I made it pretty late I made it uh, 2020 something that unlocks and that baby holds a lot of people like 600 and something people so yeah we are we're good on that we are close. We are close to being able to use my heavy hauling mod. And look at the people waiting at these stations. So there are plenty. There's plenty of people able to use this inner inner circle. Now the outer circle, outer circle, not so much. But the inner one, inner one is good. I'm actually surprised at how many people are actually wanting to use these lines. Because um, everything's kind of within walking distance. So that's interesting that uh, these buses are getting full on every trip. That's, uh, that's interesting. Although, I don't know if they're actually making any money because the trips are so short. Oh, look at that. How about that? I was going to say, these chips are so short. There's not a whole lot of money involved. 
and driving them two blocks. A lot of buses using our main terminal, which is good. I like that. Not a whole lot of people using it yet, but uh, that's okay. Yeah, imagine using this size station in the middle of town. There'd be nothing in here but stations. So yeah, I'm I'm thinking more and more that I put these stations a little too uh, close together. I could have spaced them out a little bit more, had a little bit extra room. But yeah, these trains are full on every trip. That's amazing. <gasps> oh, there we go. So a lot of people in here. I think this city could benefit from a bus line. Let's see if we can smash one of those out really quick. Uh, bus line, uh, passenger, bus, and uh, let's see how we can do this here. We have three stations, and <coughs> God, I don't know what's going on with my throat today. <coughs> Let me drink something. I've just been talking too much this session, I think. Okay, uh, we have three stations to connect and two over track uh, semi-busy uh, connections here. So I think I'm going to want at least a station. Um, I mean, they can walk to the station from here. So I'm going to put one out here. Uh, then I want this one to come around, and I want this one to match in over here somewhere. I think... Yeah, I think right here is probably perfect. It's a very little traveled road. Unfortunately, we're going to have to cross this main hub, but we're going to come in over here. Set up shop right in front of this guy. Come back down to over here. Come around to, oh, I wish there was a, wish there was a road. I'm going to have to do it right in here. But I need a, I need a depot somewhere close to this middle one. So I think I'm going to do one here. And it'll be interesting. It'll be an interesting route. <coughs> so, better not be getting sick again. Um, clockwise, here to here, here to here to here, here. Uh, that's a pretty good route. It's a little... Oh, I forgot this one over here. Um, Hillcrest Street, William Street, add this one. So there we go. Yeah, I forgot that one way over there. So it's a little double back, but it covers everything, which is what we're going for. So this is Westy Pass Clockwise. Let's go ahead and do the counterclockwise run as well. Uh, and this one is going to be red. Make sure we can actually see it. Okay, I think that I think that covers it all. Good, good, good. So this is Westy Pass counterclockwise. Okay, now for a bus turn or a bus depot. Uh, I like putting them on the main trunk there, so that's all good. Okay, so we're going to want a few of these buses. I'm going to do the Volvo just because it's, well, better. I mean, it's a little more expensive, but it's better. Uh, we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10? Is 10 good? We're going to do 10 for now. Uh, so Westy, 
passengers clockwise. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Westy passengers counterclockwise. Put out a whole lot of buses and uh, see where the chips fall. And there'll be delays going over the tracks and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, such is life. Uh, I could do a overpass from here to here. Uh, and how does this one work? I could do an overpass from here. No, I couldn't. I couldn't do an overpass here. That's too. It's too close to those tracks. So I couldn't do one right there, unfortunately. But Westy is doing really well for itself. I mean, it's 2,000 people. I think more than my hub. Oh, no, just, just barely not. I think my bus lines have uh, encouraged a little bit more growth here in the hub than they did... Uh, then something like East, that's still pretty good size, 2,000 people. Um, but we're trying to get more and more of these shopping facilities and jobs going. Um, you know, it's amazing, 2,300, that should, I would think that would require a lot more materials. Uh, especially, you know, when you have a hub like this, you know, 2,300 people, you're trying to feed 2,300 people. That would require a lot of food. So yeah, the hub is getting 91% of its construction material right now, uh, which is great. Uh, and the, the remaining bits of that are just what's not covered with this station. So I could, I mean, I could go through and bulldoze all of the outlying industry and maybe some of the stuff that's in this catchment that's not industry. Maybe encourage it a little bit more. I'm not sure how the city would react to that, though. Uh, so I'm a little scared about doing that. But food is definitely going to go into this one. How, I'm not sure. I'll probably have to build food over here. Uh, but it's not the best. Um, I mean, Westie could get some food. It's got a lot of commercial coverage in its main main system. Could, <coughs> could put food here in the hub. Uh, and Eastish also, pretty decent amount of food could be delivered downtown here. Uh, as far as other food goes, um, North has got quite a bit of commercial. Not a whole lot, though. So I'm a little, little less inclined to do North. Um... Oh, there's the all my HH level stuff. So those are all the heavy hauling stuff. There's my heavy hauling truck. Uh, and the Skoda, which is, I think, I think the, the tram that I did. I'm not sure. It might not be the tram that I made. I didn't make the tram. I just edited it. But, but the Innominate up here would be great for commercial. This main hub right here would be a great spot for commercial, which would uh, go a long ways to encourage growth in that sector. So I might skip the commercial with North, or I might skip the food with North and go up to a nominate and give him some food because I like for this to develop a little bit more, and that way maybe encourage some growth out here. Um, yeah, far west, really not a whole lot of commercial coverage on that one. Um, uh, Gastonard could, uh, that's covering almost all the commercial there. Those cities have quite a bit of maturing to do. Uh, Bituminous here doesn't have a whole lot of commercial viability. And, yeah, far east could, could use with some, some food. So I think the food is going to go up to a nominate. Is going to go to the hub, of course. Is going to go to Westy. Um, I, I have one more that I can deliver to. Not a whole lot of commercial there. I want to limit the amount of trucks that I'm using. But Eastish could use 
That could be some food, some food potential there. Yeah, 723. But we're not covering everything, so that lowers that amount quite a bit. And then the Far East. I could actually do a through route. I could deliver food to Eastish and then on, continue on to Far East and actually deliver food to both at once. These have picked up considerably now that I'm, now that I upgraded those trains. A lot of people using those lines. Which is good for me because they are full when they run and that just increases my profitability. Uh, not that I would be hurting for profit here. All right, so that is the food plan, tentative food plan, unless something dramatically changes the landscape of how these cities are laid out. So as they mature, we'll get a much better idea about the best way to handle delivering food because I really want I really want my hub my hub my east and my west to grow and then the north and south are kind of up in the air I'm already delivering to north I'm already delivering construction material and food would be too spread out we got a lot of commercial out here that's not being touched unfortunately but Innominate here has some great potential for commercial food delivery and it's a decent size too so that's good all right well that'll do it for this episode and i thank you for watching and i will see you next time